So, so what's uh, what's going on when you know you guys are trying to get lined up and clearly you and Aaron are on the you know different page. Not trying to be critical, but it's just a weird deal. What, no, what's yeah. What yeah, it's just miscommunication on my part and 100% take full responsibility. Um, no excuses on my part. It's just um, miscommunication out there for me. What was the miscommunication? It was just miscommunication on my part. That's all it was. My 100% my fault. Is that something that hey, it happened? And like, not that it's a good thing that it happened, but it's a pretty good learning experience and you can't let it happen again? I mean, you got to live and you learn, you know. Um, you know, I'm critical. I'm more critical of myself than anybody can be of me, you know, so I got to learn from it, learn from my mistakes just like you do on every play and get better from it. As someone who just went through his own ACL, what, what were you thinking when you saw Bobby go down? Yeah, my heart hurts for Bobby, man. Um, obviously went through something similar last year. So, you know, when he heard the news and, and was uh, going through those emotions, you know, just offer my support for him, tell him I love him, and any advice, anything he needs, um, you know, I'm here for him, and I know he's going to attack it and come back better than he was. It's obviously the, the cruel part of the sport where it's always next man up, just like there was someone for you. Um, but is there a silver lining from your perspective that maybe there's some more opportunities out there for you now? I mean, that's what, you know, that's what this game is. That's what the sport is. It's always next man up, you know. Um, going through it last year, I saw, you know, guys, you got to take advantage of um, when stuff like this happens. And um, when the opportunity presents itself, um, you got to take advantage of it, and um, you know we're going to do it for Bobby because you know he's a huge part of our room. We're going to miss him in there um, while he's gone, but I know he's going to um, be there for us, and he's still going to be with us um, when he can. So, just everything we've learned from him, just go out and ball for him. Snap counts and, and touches have, have just kind of gradually gone up. I mean, how much better do you feel about that now that you're really finally getting into the swing after everything that happened through last year and, and the first part of this year? Yeah, I'm just ready to, you know, go out and show what I can do, definitely. I think that um, whenever my number's called, I'm, you know, going to go out there and, like I said, try to make the most of the opportunity um, and take advantage of any time I'm out on the field. Is there, is there a difference, Josiah, in how, how you feel about this offense now compared to, you know, compared to last year's rookie before you got hurt? Yeah, I think there's more, obviously, understanding of the offense. Um, when you're when you're in an offense for two years, you definitely learn more and more every day. You know, I'm still learning, still trying to get better, um, but having those guys in your room that you can learn from and um, be able, being able to go out there each and every day and get better, especially having a year in the offense, it definitely definitely helps. Josiah, we got off to such a positive start with uh, <laughs> Bobby's injury and the, the mistake in the game, but yeah. just after last year and. I mean, this coaching staff was so excited about what you were going to be able to do in this offense. You deal with the ACL, kind of finding your way so far. This, mm -hmm. Just how excited are you to, to really show what you're capable of? You haven't really gotten as many opportunities as you'd like. Yeah, you know, that's why I'm here. I'm here to obviously get better every day. And when, when my opportunity has presented itself, I've tried to make the most of it, you know. So I love playing this game. I love playing for this team. So being out there on the field as much as I can be and – like I said, uh, I'm just excited to get out there and get going. So we know all the different things you can do, right? Mm -hmm. Your versatility is one of the great things about it. Um, where do you think you're at in your development as an NFL pass catcher? I think it's it's like a, a lot of my game just continuing to get better. Um, I think, you know, I'm at that point I can make plays out there. Um, when the ball's thrown my way, that's what I'm going to try to do. And when the opportunity is there, I'm going to go make it. So what are the conversations like with you? Not that you're talking behind Bobby's back, I understand that. But mm -hmm. like when you and, and Daphne are talking about, OK, we're going to do this for Bobby. That's what you said, right? Mm -hmm. So what, what is that conversation like? Can you give us a glimpse of you know, you guys talking about how different things you guys can each do or how you complement each other's skill sets? Or how does that conversation go? Yeah, I think we're still, obviously, you know, it didn't happen too long ago, so we're still, I don't know if we sat down and had that conversation exactly, but I think we know, I mean, there's there's something that doesn't, you know, some things just don't really need to be talked about. We know we both have to step up. Um, Bobby's, like I said, a big part of that room, big part of this team. So we both have to step up and into that role and, and you know, hopefully we, you can't tell that anything's gone, you know, hopefully step into that role and be able to produce just like Bobby was. 
your position coach is, is really well respected, obviously, in this building. What's, what's the best thing about having JL as a, as a position coach? Man, he's, he's the greatest. I think that um, there's not one bad thing I can say about him. He, every, every part of um, what he's coaching us on the field, um, what he's teaching us off the field, um, he's a great coach diving into football, diving into life itself. Uh, any question you have for him, he knows the answer. If he doesn't know the answer, he's going to find one for you. Um, so I think it's just that relationship we all have with him. Um, it's something special.